All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. And I don't want to make this video any longer than what it's already going to be because this is an awesome, awesome unboxing video. And we've got two different packages. Um, the main package we're going to get to after this one. This is a box sent to me by a friend who just recently went overseas to the Pacific Theater of Operations. And this is uh, this is something that is not really that easy to get, honestly. And it's always very cool whenever, you know, I get something like this. Now, what is this? First glance, it will look like a CVS pill bottle with a bunch of dirt in it. This just isn't in any dirt. This is, I'm just going to gently pop the top. This dirt has a unique color to it. Well, this is sand from Iwo Jima. This is some of the volcanic sand off the beaches of Iwo Jima. And a friend of mine grabbed this for me on the recent trip to Iwo Jima. And we're going to be taking this sand, doing some different things with it, uh, making some shadow boxes, different things. So this is awesome. I can now have enough to make a shadow box for Iwo Jima. I have one from Bass Stone, have one from Omaha Beach. Now I can have some from Iwo Jima. So uh, pretty cool we've got this. All right, so this next box I have here, I've already opened it as you can see, but I have not looked inside. Just went ahead prepping for the video, opened this up, got all the shipping information off of it so you can't see that. But this is a very cool box from one of my favorite YouTube channels, World, uh, Metal Detecting World War II Battlegrounds. If you haven't checked them out, we'll pop their logo up here. You can check them out in the video, video description below. But... Let's uh let's set this box to the side and let's start getting into it. All right, so we've got our original Marine Corps poncho here, and uh, yeah, it looks nice. We've got stains and everything else over it. But this box is a box I ordered from their site. From um, again, this is from Metal Detecting World War II Battlegrounds. Check out their YouTube channel, one of my absolutely favorite channels to watch here on YouTube. And I, uh, I picked this up from them. This is one of their large mystery boxes. I'll leave a link in the description below to their channel and to where you guys can actually find these. All right, so first thing to come out this box is a couple of postcards uh, from World War II um, Metal Detect, uh, Metal Detect and World War II Battlegrounds. And there's a nice note on here. I'm not going to read it on camera for the simple fact that it contains a list of everything that's in this box, and I don't want to see that for myself either. I just quickly glanced at it, so yeah, I kind of ruined it for myself. But uh, this is a mystery box. So I only saw one item and uh, that was listed on here, so let's get into it and let's see what's in this thing together. All right, so what we have here is brown paper, as you can see. Um, now, I'm hoping that this is uh, it's going to contain some cool items. Wow, there's a whole bag here full of stuff. Nothing else in the paper, we'll get rid of that. And uh, just a bunch of Ziploc bags. I can see a bottle right here. Let's go ahead and take this out. Huh, you can tell it's definitely been dug and it's numbered 15. All right, so I'm guessing what he did here is on the cards with the numbers on the bags, I'm guessing he listed maybe what it is. And so I'm guessing I'm going to have to look at the cards here um, and go ahead and just let you be surprised. This is a hair care bottle. Uh, appears to be German, I think. And uh, actually very neat. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to take this out the bag. Looks like it's pretty dirty. We'll leave this one in there. And it's just a bottle. Nothing marked on it. Um, there's something marked on the bottom. Let's see if we can't. Well, we'll go ahead and take it out the bag real quick. Just so we can see what's on the bottom of the bottle. And looks like it just says 110 CCM. So I'm guessing this is for sure German. The uh, the cap still unscrews. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So a uh, hair care bottle. Pretty cool first relic. All right, our next relic to come out, and I don't even need to look at the paper to tell what this is. Oh man. And this is a Nescaf American ration container, um, ration pack. Nestle's, Nestle's Milk Products Incorporated, New York, USA. 
And check this out. It's definitely been used, as you can see on the back. And I'm going to very carefully take this out the bag just so you can get a closer look at it. And then it's going right back in. Wow. Just a bunch of foil. But man, if this foil could talk. So some American soldier has been made coffee out of this into his canteen cup. Very cool. Okay, so next item to come out, we're gonna start, I guess, doing this here. <laughs> uh, this item to come out is, I don't know. No idea. Let's refer to the paper here. Airborne parachute buckle. Oh, cool. So this is a parachute buckle from the Airborne, and you can still see remnants of the parachute string or cord. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Wow. Okay, this is a very, very uh, falling apart a lot. So we're going to get this back in the bag and quit touching it. But uh, how cool is that? Wow. Next item to come out the bag is a wear, I know what this is. This is a wear mock button. And let's, uh, let's take it out and see if anything's written on the back. Sometimes they would have something written on the back, sometimes very small. This is a uh, aluminum button. And yes, there is writing on the back. And uh, looks like it, um, <laughs> ass man, ass man, I'm not kidding. If you could, uh, let's see, focus right there. Right here on the left corner, ass man. Okay. Huh. Very cool button. Original button. <laughs> Put this back in the bag. Our <laughs> ass man wear my button. Hmm. That's, that's unusual. We have another button that's coming out here. And I know what this is. This is an American overcoat button. Now, it doesn't say, unfortunately, where these items were found. But, uh... On the back there, there's no, there's not even any sense of trying to see if there's anything written on this, but it's just went away with time. But this is very, very cool. Um, wow. So that was found somewhere overseas. Up next is a coin. I will take this one off the bag. And this is number 13. 13 on the card is French War Coin of uh, 19... 42, I believe. Yep, 1942 Frank. And, uh, wow. So, some soldier dropped this coin. And here's Chris and the guys come around years later and find this. Huh, pretty neat. So, a French war coin. I do not have any of those. So, that is extremely cool. I actually have none of this. I mean, none of this is in my collection so far. And let's see, I don't know what this is. Number three. This is a German toothbrush. Let's get it out the bag and examine it a little closer, shall we? So, well, if we can get it out the bag without tearing the bag up. There we go. A German toothbrush, and it does have some writing right here, but I can't tell what it says anymore. Um, it's got some here and here. But it's so worn down, I really can't tell what that says. Maybe you can see it better on camera than I can here. I don't know. Um, but all the bristles are missing. But a bait light, definitely a bait light toothbrush from the German Wehrmacht soldier during World War II. That is extremely haunting, extremely personal, and extremely cool. So, uh... Yeah, so we'll set our toothbrush um, also to the side here. We still have a lot more in here in this bag. Oh, you don't need to tell me what this is. This is number uh, 14, I believe. This is a uh, Luf Waffle porcelain. Some of the porcelain these guys dug up, and this is so freaking stinking cool. What we have here is Luf Waffle porcelain. This is super cool. 
looks like it was a coffee cup. You can see the eagle there with a Luftwaffe eagle and uh, FIUV. Pretty neat. Let's, uh, let's get this back into the bag here. Let's see, next up we have. Ooh, I'm not taking this out the bag. This is a German toothpaste tube. And you can see all the toothpaste remnants that is dried up and coming out of this thing. I can't even tell what maker this is. It's like Jijo. I don't know, something. But this is so freaking cool. Wow. This is an awesome, awesome mystery box. So if you want a World War II mystery box, this is the place to go. Know exactly what this is, too. This is an M1 Grand uh, casing. I'm going to tell that right off the bat. Let's see if we can get a uh, stamp off the back of it of a year. And there you are, 1943. So pretty, pretty cool casing for M1 Garand. Been fired. That is, uh, that is really cool. We've got another casing coming out the bag. And this is a, I know what this is too. This is a uh, British 20 millimeter casing, just by the looks of it. And you can tell how it kind of crimp. With a German MG, you get a half moon shape. You kind of get the same thing here. And uh, this is dated 1944. Yep, 1944. You can see it right there, 20 mil. That is super cool. Here we are. I'm not going to take this one out. No. This is uh, just a medicine bottle. No contents, but the stopper is still in the top. Um, where it come from? Well, who knows? If it was German or American, probably German. But uh, it's always cool to see these things and find them. Okay, so the next item we got is a very cool WHW badge. Looks like it's missing a piece out of the middle, but you can still see the eagle. Uh, the writing on the back is barely visible. Not visible enough that we I can tell and where I'm at, what date it is, whatever. But uh, very cool German WHW badge. Next up is, whoa, this is haunting. A German boot heel plate off of a jack boot, probably. I'm not taking this out the bag because it is in rough condition. But that is haunting and really a cool piece of history right there. Well, if these items were just tall, you know. Next up, out the bag is, I know exactly what this is too without looking at this card. This is a Lee Enfield sling um, piece. And I don't see any writing that I can tell, but it's a piece of a Lee Enfield sling. And that is it. So very neat mystery box. What a ton of items from uh, Metal Detecting World War II Battlegrounds. This is a, uh, wow, this is probably one of the coolest mystery boxes. This is the coolest mystery box I have ever opened. Guys, you have to get you one of these. Uh, go visit their channel, give them some support. And thank you to Chris for sending this over. He handpicked all of these items, wrote the card, and uh, sent all this to me. So this is neat. So go buy a mystery box. Have small, medium, large. Get whatever size fits your budget. This is a large, and as you can see, you will not be disappointed. Plus, we got some Iwo Jima sand thrown into boot. Pretty cool haul. So until next time, keep observing history. Most definitely, and we'll see you soon.